In this video, we are going to continue with trigonometric equations. You will find this on page 200 in the Namibia AS level mathematics textbook y equals mx plus c to 6x. Okay, let's look at another example. I'm going to make it a bit bigger. And here it is. Solve the equation, and there is the equation, for stop, make sure your calculator is on degrees, so 0 to 360. And then, okay, so first, let's just do the first part. So if I solve, and I see that usually I replace the square one, so I see it's cos, and I want to make this cos, then I just go with my, I know that, okay, I'll show you again, I showed you quite a lot of times this show it again uh, so make this the subject so then it's 1 minus cos squared and that's what I did and then I multiply and I multiply and then I add my like terms this is like like and then I'm going to get 4 cos squared x um, no, no no that's not like sorry that one um, this is going to be a 4 this is okay uh, maybe I can just put this step in um, I'm going to put it here. M minus 4 cos squared x plus 8 cos x. And ne this is negative 3. And then I divide by negative 1, negative 1, negative 1. And then I get this. And then I go and I factorize. And I get 3 and 1. And I get 2 and 2. Let's see if it's working. Uh, it's in group A, okay, so it's 6 plus 2, and that's 8. Signs are the same, and both gets this sign, so it's negative, negative, and that's why it's like, okay. So then I put this equals 0, okay. Now, if I look at this one, why do I reject this one? Because you can, you can even test it on a calculator. If you press shift cos, 1.5, it's going to give you, now shift, it's going to be uh, 1.5, I'll show you now, it's maths error. The reason why, can I show you? Um, okay, here's my graph. A cos, because that is 1, 1, so a cos graph looks like this. And that's why the knowledge of the graphs is so important. And it's going there from 1, and there is negative 1. Okay, there is 360. So, if this one is 1.5, it's over. Do you see the blue line is not there at 1.5? And that's the reason why you reject it. Okay, this one is a half. So, if this is a half, yes, you have solutions. And that's what I did. I got my basic angle. I know where is cos positive. Cos is positive in the first and in the fourth. So it's 60 and 360 minus, and that is my only two solutions. Okay, let's go on. Hence, find the solution of the equation. Now, I want you to compare this two. It's going to clean, and then I'll show you where to compare. Compare this, 4 sin, 4 sin squared. 4 sin squared, 4 sin squared. 8 cos x, 8 cos, okay, uh, well now, negative 7, negative 7. So the difference is just there. Do you see? So there, in place of x, it's a half. But now, remember, if that's a half theta, this must also become a half. Okay. So, okay, but let's first see what I explained. We will now come to all the details. So from the equation, you can see that this are similar. The only difference is the x, um, in the place of the x is a half theta. You see that the half theta is x, so you can use the answers of a. But because a half theta, the domain is this, we must change it. So that must be blocked out. Okay. And now, you say half theta. So basically, so we exclude the 300 will be blocked out. And we will only sit with the 60 because the 300 was in this quadrant. So you say a half theta, you have the value of x is 60, and then you just multi 
or divide by a half, divide by a half, or multiply two, and that is your own. Okay, so it's usually, and usually they will use the word hench. That means look up, let the answer of A help you in the answer of B. I want you to stop the video. I want you to do try now 49. Again, you can continue the video as soon as you are finished. Okay. Seems to me I didn't write it here, so it's try. No, 49. Okay. Okay, let's start with number A. Given, and then they give me the equation, show that the real, uh, for real values of x, cos x is equal to negative 2 over 3. Okay, but let's first start. I have 3 sin squared x minus 8 cos x minus 7 equals 0. Okay, now... What am I going to do? I always replace in the square. So, remember, so uh, cos, if you look here, cos, oh no, here, cos, it will just be 1 minus sin. So, I say 3, 1 minus, oh, sin, no, it's sin squared, so it's 1 minus cos squared, it's the opposite one. Minus 8 cos x minus 7 equals 0. So it's going to be 3 minus 3 cos squared x minus 8 cos x minus 7 equals 0. Okay, there is my, okay, let us leave it negative. So negative 3 cos squared x minus 8 cos x and negative 7 plus um, 3, it's negative 4. And now I can change the signs. I divide or multiply by negative 1, doesn't matter. Or change all the signs. That's basically what's going to happen. Okay. And now I'm going to factorize. Now, if I factorize, this is group A. I'm going to see, if, let's see, 2 and 2 and 3 and 1. Let's see if it's working. So this is 6 plus 2. Excellent. It's also 8. Okay. Almost the same. So I'm just going to, and then I'm just going to fill in here. The signs are the same, positive, positive, and then it's cos x, cos x. So it's going to be 3 cos x plus 2, and then cos x plus 2, and that's equal to 0. So if I put this, 3 cos x plus 2 equals 0, or cos x plus 2 equals 0. Let's just move it out. So I am going to have, I, I can already spare a little bit of time. So it's going to be, if it's going over, it's negative 2 over 3, or cos x is negative 2. Now, can you remember my cos sketch? Can it be negative 2? There, there will be negative 2. No, it's not. So, it's not existing there. Okay, reject. So, we can just say reject. And the reason is the cosine values are only from negative 1 to 1. So, basically, it's not it's a maps error. It's not existing if it's a 1 and a 1. Okay, so what did they say? The real value of x is only. So therefore, cos x equals negative 2 over 3 is the only solution. Okay, if there's more than 1. Okay. Because there is more than one, if it's, it depends on the, um, the interval. Okay. But now, let's go to number B. Now they say, hence, solve the equation. Now, you have to compare. You have to say 3 sin x, or sin squared x, 3 sin squared x, 
and then minus 8 cos, okay, I'm just first underlining like that, but what you must see is in the place of, you have this. Okay, okay, but before we do that, okay, and then, 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 they say it's only for this. So, so they make the interval only up to this. Now, I must change to, to get it correct to that. So, I'm going to say, okay, if I'm, okay, let's first make the sketch. Okay, so if it's, if I want to change this, and I'm going to change it here, where you can see, oh, my pin. Okay, now the only thing is I must add 70. Let's take another go. So, it's going to be 70. And that is going to be 250 degrees. So basically, this sketch starts, okay, it starts there at 70. Oh, I want to just take a ruler. And it will be in the form of a line straight line but I'll show you now. So this is 70 and this is blocked out. And the line here is 250. Okay. So this is existing there in, in that open space. Okay. Now I can start. So first, before we do anything, because we stopped at the point, we're first going to determine cos x is minus 2 over now, where is cos negative? It's positive here. So don't forget your cos diagram. And it's negative. It's negative here. Take a ruler again. Now, it's in two places. I just want to see if okay, it's here and here. But now I must see must this line, and I'm first going to block it, because I'm first going to find my basic angle. So get your basic angle by pressing shift, cos, not the negative, bracket, 2 divide 3, close the bracket. So shift, cos, bracket, 2 divide 3, close the bracket, equals. And I get 48, make it two decimal places, 0.19 degrees. Now, that means that this one is 48.19. One nine. I want to see if this line is over. Okay, now don't forget that towards this line, towards this line is 70. Okay, so if I want to make a line 48, it's fitting. Do you understand what I'm, I'm trying to show to you? Because it's less than 70. Because this line here will be that 48.19. So it's, it's, in, it's in the area that's not restricted. And that's what I wanted to show you. Okay, so let's first get these two answers. So x is 180 minus 48.19 degrees. So 180 minus 48.19 equals. And that is going to be 140. 31 point, okay, leave it first to two decimal places because it's an in-between answer, okay. The other answer of x is 180 plus 48.19. So 180 plus 48.19, and let's just move this, okay, and that is 2, Two eight point one nine degrees. Okay, but now, now I come to. So that was actually the real one. That did nothing to do actually with this. But now I say, 
now the domain is going to be there. So this was actually part of still that one. That's why I was making it to it in white and white. But now um, I'm just going to say here in red. Okay. From the equations. You can see theta plus 70 degrees equals x. Remember, this is x. So now, and, and I already draw this line. As I said, I could have first do the white and then bring this lines in. But now I see it fits. So therefore, theta plus 70, and I put the value of x, and that's 131.81 degrees, okay, that's the one, or theta plus 70 is equal to 228.19 degrees, so theta equals 131 plus, okay, I, I think I'm just, I'm not, I'm just going to write the final, just take your calculator, so 131.81 plus that 70, and approximate to three significant figures, so it's 201.8 degrees, okay, oh, no, not that plus 70, sorry, 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 I made a mistake, after I wrote it, I realized, not looking correct, it's not plus 70, it's minus 70. So 131.8, because it's on the other side, 81 minus 70, and that's giving me 61.8 degrees, or theta, don't forget to subtract, so 228.19 minus 70, and that is 158.2 degrees and that's your final answer it's not really so difficult but it's a typical exam or test question